and welcome to Nusa Penida in Indonesia. We had a horrific journey from the Gili Islands here today. It took us about four hours in the end, which was only meant to be about an hour and a half. Anyways, we eventually made it for about half past six this evening. We've just checked into our homestay here tonight and tomorrow we are off on a full adventure day around Nusa Penida. We are gonna hire bikes in the morning and then basically just drive the full length of the island and just see what we can find. We've pinpointed quite a few places that we wanna visit tomorrow. So fingers crossed we can get it all done in one day because I think we've only got one full day here now. Originally the plan was that we were hoping to be here by around 3 p.m. and then we'd have the afternoon and the evening here and then tomorrow as well obviously that did not go to plan today so I think we just have the one day tomorrow so we're trying to fit in as much as we possibly can but I just thought I'd pop on and start this vlog now so that we can have a full day of vlogging and things to see tomorrow so welcome to Noosa Panida see you in the morning Good morning. Time is currently just past 7 a.m. I believe. We are up and ready to go on our adventure in Nusa Penida. First stop is the Kelling King hike, which is the classic viewpoint. I'll put a picture on the screen. If you ever look up Nusa Penida on Google, this is probably the image that you're gonna see. That's the hike that we're going to do this morning. It's apparently a little bit rough. It's a little bit difficult. There's a lot of rocks and scrambling involved. So for that reason, we have decided to get up earlier and do it this morning because obviously, in the heat of the day, I'm not gonna be wanting to do a hard, difficult hike. So hopefully it's gonna be a little bit cooler and a little bit clouded over this morning and we should avoid some of the crowds as well. We're just getting ready to go now, so see you up there. So we've just arrived after a nice little morning drive. Just grabbed the coffee and some waters and now we're walking up to the beach. So uh, let's see how we get on. And so it begins. So they actually call this the T-Rex point because it's shaped a little bit like a T-Rex. And I didn't realize that the viewpoint is literally at the beginning here. The actual hike that you have to do is to go all the way down to the beach, which is pretty dangerous and pretty steep. I don't actually know if we're gonna do that or how far we're gonna make it, but so far so good. So as I am the one that wants to go down to the beach, it's a pretty dodgy walk I've heard, but as you've seen, I've done dodgier. Take you guys with me and show you what it's like down there. These are the steps. Nothing too crazy. Not really steps, just rocks. But I'm just thinking it's always so much easier doing stuff like this barefoot. So it is tempting. But look at that water. Jeez Louise. And then you have the girls somewhere up here. Definitely can't see them, but there's some right there. Let's see how quick I can be. Woohoo! I am a couple meters away. Seven minutes so far. It's, it's already filming. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, brother. Appreciate that. So we made it in about just under 10 minutes. That was still just like rock climbing again. But yeah, I'd say definitely worth it. Just look at this absolutely stunning and you can just hear how powerful that sea is it's advised that you don't swim here understandably because the current is ridiculously strong and i'm sure that's probably for telling in this footage because those waves you can see them crashing against the cliff here looks like there's some little cave over here so let's have a look ah! jesus christ oh shit oh i gotta get out of this cave I need to run for it. I need to make a run for it. <laughs> Feeling very grateful right now to be able to just be sat here worry free. It's crazy even being all the way down here and there's still some sort of a mini market with water and some food. Look at these guys, Jesus Christ, they work so hard. Absolutely crazy, props to them, wow. Now for the dreaded walk back up. Just gone 8.55. That's cool. So just for perspective, this is what I'm staring at now. It's just rock climbing, but this is vertical. But yeah, you be the judge of that. I was lying when I said it was easier. Four minutes, just gone four minutes past. Again, just under 10 minutes. I think you can tell by the looks of me, that was something. 
Okay, I best head back now because the girls are probably getting hungry, as am I. Peace out. It is now half past 10. Next stop of the day is the Tembling Forest. Yeah. Saw this on TikTok, looks pretty cool. Let's go. Also, I think we came up this morning at the perfect time because you can't really see them over there, but I know that there's a lot more people down there now. Highly recommend coming earlier in the morning to avoid all of the crowds so that you don't get so many people in the back of your pictures. So we've just made it down to the Temblin Forest. The road down here was pretty treacherous, pretty horrible, but I actually drove it and I'm feeling very, very proud that I made it down. I just had to go so slowly so that I wasn't gonna wobble off my bike, but my hands were killing me from the brake. Ellie got on the back of an easy rider. It cost her 100,000 rupiah for a journey down and a journey back up. So that's only five pounds, to be honest. Callum drove his own bike and then the other two girls have decided to walk, which is probably gonna take them ages, but it's probably the safer option, honestly. Oh, wow. for the... Uh, the different colours? Yeah. Well, this is bloody beautiful. This was well worth the horrible drive up. I mean, down. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Stunning. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Hi. Hi. How was the walk? It was nice, although I need the toilet. Oh. <laughs> We've only been about 20 minutes down here. <laughs> We're heading up already because we've got other places to go today. Ellie, where's the next stop? Uh, good we... question, I have no idea. Are we going to Guyangan Falls? Guyangan Falls, yeah. And then to Manta Point. You know uh, Guyangan Falls? Guyangan Falls? Guyangang We're probably Falls. saying it so wrong. Oh no. We have made it up to one of the many Manta points on Nusa Penida. We just drove to one that was sort of half an hour away from where we last were at the Tembling Forest. It was actually a really beautiful, beautiful drive up here. It was like a really smooth road for ages and ages and ages. And literally the last five minutes was a really rough, rocky, horrible road. And this looks bloody beautiful. Oh my gosh. So right now, we have just arrived at Broken Beach, Angels Billabong. Everywhere we've been today, it's had a 5,000 parking fee compared to what, seven pound a day at home, it's nothing. Yeah, I don't know where the last update was from Loose. We went to Manta Point or some Manta Point and unfortunately we couldn't see any mantas. But yeah, this is Broken Beach, so have a look at this. I thought maybe it was worth mentioning in this clip that apparently this is actually not Broken Beach. Apparently if you carry on walking around the section that we were at, you actually do come across Broken Beach. We didn't really know what we were looking for, so don't be like me, do your research. It is now a couple of days later. We are actually on Nusa Labongon. We arrived here yesterday, but yesterday was a really rainy, miserable day. It looked a little bit like this. Yeah, it pretty much rained non-stop from literally the moment that we woke up till the moment that we went to bed. It was constant rain all day. So we're really, really hoping for a dry day today. Luckily, yesterday was only a travel day. We didn't actually get up to anything, so it wasn't too big of an issue. It just meant that every time that we left the room, we were just wading through puddles in the road and getting soaked, but you get some good days and some bad days, hey? The journey from Nusa Penida to Nusa Labongon was literally only 10, 15 minutes on the boat and it only cost us 50,000 rupiah each. So a really easy, quick journey. We basically ended up yesterday in a beach club all day. We went walking to find some lunch after we arrived here and we ended up in this expensive beach club. It was way more than any meal that I've probably paid for in the whole of my six months in Asia. And now we are up, it is 7 a.m. and we are off to go on a snorkeling trip today. It's a three hour snorkeling trip to Manta Bay, Crystal Bay, 
and, and a mangrove something or other. To be honest, we've only paid for this snorkeling trip because we are really, really, really hoping to see some manta rays today. Yeah, this boat trip is only a three hour boat trip, so quite short compared to other ones. It goes from eight till 11 a.m., which means we have the whole day still, and it was 200 rupiah per person, so 10 pounds each. But yeah, that is the current situation. I will update you when we are on our boat trip, hopefully seeing some turtles and some mantas this morning. That was freaking awesome! So cool! And now it's peeing with rain. So good. I'm so glad I saw those. On to the next point. And that is the end of the Noosa vlog. We absolutely loved Noosa Panida. There is so much to do on that island. It is an absolutely massive island as well. So definitely give yourself enough time if you are going to make sure that you can see everything that you wanna see. As you saw in the video, we only had one full day on Noosa Panida, which I kind of wish that we had changed it so that we had two full days there and then only one day on Labongan. But we pretty much managed to do most things on our list. We also wanted to go down to Diamond Beach and I wanted to go go to Dolphin Bay as well but the island is so big that we kind of couldn't make it to the other side and back before the sun had set. Unfortunately we didn't really get to see much on Nusa Lembongan or Lebongan because the rain was really intense for the two days that we were there. I would like to go back and visit it another time when maybe it's not so rainy but all in all we absolutely love the Nusa Islands so definitely add it to your Indonesia itinerary. If you did enjoy watching this video then please make sure to leave a big thumbs up, leave us a comment down below and also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you want to watch any of our other vlogs from any of the other countries then click here. I will link the playlist for you to go and browse through. From Noosa we then actually came back to mainland Bali for the past week which is where I'm filming from at the moment. We've had a really really busy fun filled week so if you do want to see the Bali vlog then make sure to keep an eye out for that. But for now I'm going to wrap this one up so thank you so much once again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!